What's up guys? Jared and Jason of Ransom Tactics Solutions here with the Ryan Training Group. Uh, we're at FRC's Indoor Shootouts in Baton Rouge. We've been doing this series of videos. We're kind of building up to more complex topics. Now we're getting into more of the meat and potatoes of the principles. Uh, a couple principles that drive the actions of the second man into the room and how they relate to the science and the theory of room clearing. So um, two things we really want to harp on is left, right, left, right. We'll talk about that in a minute. And also distance equals time. So as the second guy into the room, my job is to cover that first guy. Okay, so we'll just real quick talk about it. Um, if Jason's the first man going into the room, and I'm just sitting here not paying attention, looking around, go ahead and interject, and I'm just like, oh shit. One second, two second, three second, right? So I have to be paying attention to what he's doing, obviously. What if I am paying attention and I'm way the hell over here? And I give him that nonverbal signal. He gets in the room, now I launch. Well, I really screwed him over, right? So distance equals time. I need to be in his ass when he crosses that threshold. Mm. So mm. I'm here, I give him that nonverbal signal, I'm moving as he's moving, not after he's done. Does that make sense? If uh, Closing the distance, right? Decreasing that gap. Right, yeah, look, I'm six feet from my launching point here. Um, and look how close I am in relation to the threshold. Yeah, look at our muzzle differences, right? Um, not just the length, but how far away we are. If I open the gate for him and I don't move, he's screwed. Versus as I'm opening that gate, I'm saying, okay, I know what comes next. And as he's collapsing into the room, look, we're almost touching the door. So that's one of the most important things. And you'll see people on Instagram, especially harp on it, like those guys could have been tighter together. Um, Cause that's what they were taught in basic training in 1991. And that's what they remember from it. But you gotta remember that when you have a group of students that have not done this together, Pan over to these two yahoos over here. He's like four foot eleven, and he's like six five. So their length of their legs are different. You have to get used to how to move with people, right? Um, Jason and I've done this together for years, and so we're used to it. All right, left, right, left, right. So I'm the second guy still. I tell Jason he's good to go in the room, and I just follow him in. I didn't look too good, did it? And if you're watching it, going, yeah, why did that not make any sense? He's already going that way. What are we exposed to on the other side of the room? Dead space, danger, right? So if Jason enters and I don't do my job of plugging that gap that he's exposed to and I just follow him in, we're reducing our coverage in the room. It's gonna take me getting into that room, not pointing my gun at anything that's not been covered, and having to swing back over to my priority. So by always going the opposite direction of the guy in front of you, you're creating overlapping sectors that cover more area. We just did a video a minute ago, and you probably watched it before this one, where we talk about hitting those corners, establishing our scanning points, and collapsing. So it's the same thing. We'll do it from in here. You stay there, Mitchell. We'll clear from in here, and we'll just talk again about that second man. So I'm telling you it's okay for you to go first. He enters, I close that distance, I get my corner, and then I immediately come back and check on him. My distance was cheated up, and I went the opposite direction of him. Now let's watch it, let's just watch it, and I'm going to screw it up on purpose. Watch how much worse it goes. So I'll let him go first. Gave him some time, and then I went in the same direction as him. Oh, then none of that makes any sense. <clears throat> and if you don't understand the principles behind it, it's not going to make any sense when you try to execute this. For those of you who have not taken a class, you're just watching this to try to get some knowledge. Again, the principle is left, right, left, right, and distance equals time. So, if we had a third or a fourth person, we'll do a video on that in a minute. Similar concepts overlapping, right? Uh, anything to add to the two-man stuff, Mitchell? Just that first man's never wrong. Yeah, so great point. What if I really want to go first? Or I see something on this side that I really want to take care of, but he's the first man, maybe he's seen more of the room, maybe he's asking permission, we'll get into nonverbal signaling later. You know, he's doing whatever it is he's doing, I'm like, man, okay, he's going. He's exposing something that I saw. We'll get into nonverbal signaling. I better get in there and cover him quick, right? What if he does something I'm not expecting? What if he does a button hook when I thought he was going to cross over? So from here, it's, a, it's an efficiency thing to want to crisscross. What if I give him that opening and he does a button hook? I'm like, oh shit, now I have to go this way, right? But I wanted to go that way. So the principle of left, right, left, right is not if you're first, you go this way. If you're second, you go that way. You go the opposite direction of the person in front of you in order to cover the fact. Cool. Anything to add to that? Y'all want to try it? Sure. Give it a shot. Clear from in there. Fast as you can process, guys. On you. This corner, scans over. Here we go. Work. Gonna go up. 
Yep. Good stuff. All right. So yeah, if you guys want to learn that kind of thing in person, um, go to our website, OrionTrainingGroup.com. We do have one. Uh, all of our courses are listed there chronologically by course type, firearms, medical, CQB, and they are open enrollment. So unrestricted training if you're an American citizen, we'd love to have you out.